my channel. I, I'm Nicole Lynn, if you don't know, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about some current reads that I am reading. So I haven't been on YouTube in a while, but I wanted to kind of come back strong, so I thought I'd start with a weekly feature. So I'm going to name this Friday Reads, uh, but I don't know if there is something like this already out there. If there is, let me know so I can link up to the appropriate person who created something like this. Anyway. Um, thanks so much for stopping by to watch the video, so I'm gonna get straight to the books I'm reading this week. Alright, so the first book that I'm reading this week is Stone Cold Texas Ranger. This is my romance read this week, and it features a girl named Natalie who is a hypnotist and helps the Texas Rangers with cases by putting witnesses in a, like a kind of like a hypnotized state, hypnotized state in order to talk to them and make them feel calmer and kind of get to certain facts that they might not uh, be remember per se. So it kind of relaxes them and lets the Texas Rangers kind of talk with them more easily. So Natalie is working on a case for the Texas Rangers and she was in an interview, um, conducting, helping conduct an interview by hypnotizing the witness and she kind of pushes a little too hard and Texas Ranger Cooper is like not a fan of that and so he actually gets her fired because of that because she said she wouldn't interfere in the uh, investigation and in the interviewing and she does so she's like all up in an uproar about that and then later that day her house actually is burned down so she's kind of embroiled in this investigation now because she must have overheard something or they think the whoever's the culprits must think that she heard something that she shouldn't have in the interview or something like that. So now uh, Texas Ranger Cooper has to uh, put her in protective custody and he takes her to like a cabin so he can watch over her and so romance is going to ensue. So I'm excited to kind of see where it goes. Right now it's just kind of basically them just saying how in their points of view like when you're reading from their points of view them just like kind of like lusting after each other but saying no no I can't like that person so I'm interested to see what happens because I just got to the part where they're at the cabin so nothing too romancy has really happened yet but I am really been getting kind of into the the intrigue and suspense type romances that uh, Harlequin in particular has. Uh, Harlequin did a sale I think during Memorial Day, I think it was that far back, where they had um, you could do like three buy three get three free, buy four get four three, or buy five get five free. So I did the five to buy five get five free. So that's why I have this one and I have a few others that I picked up so I'm interested. They're all kind of like suspense, crimey type romances, so I'm interested to see what they're all about since that's kind of a genre that in adult fiction that I've been jumping into and in YA to more of the mystery suspense thrillers. So yeah, I'm excited for that one. The next book that I'm reading right now is Audacity and it is about President Obama's past two terms and his time as president and all the different things that he passed or worked on or kind of helped change our country during his presidency so it goes into a lot of different things I didn't know about outside of just you know the more mainstream notable things such as Obamacare and um, Osama bin Laden and such like that so yeah I thought it's been a very informative read it's something that I want to educate myself on a little bit more so I've been doing some more nonfiction reading especially around presidencies so I want to go back and read some more uh, biographies and autobiographies about other presidents who have served in America and some other notable figures in politics and in the country itself. And I also wanted to read something about the current president, so I have a book lined up for that next, as well as I previously read a book about the 2016 campaign, and I thought it was going to be more analytical about like the two different campaigns that were run, but it was more just kind of like a recap, like a critique as in the moment. So there were like a bunch of columns about the uh, presidential race instead of like what I was it, from like the synopsis and the title. It sounded more like it was like going to be a retrospective analytical analysis, but it wasn't. So if you know any books like that, I definitely be interested in that because I just find that a little bit fascinating since this past presidential election was very 
much different from I think what we've seen before. It was a lot more heated and a lot more antagonistic and just different. So yeah, um, let me know if you have any good nonfiction recommendations in terms of the presidents or politics or just understanding our country a little bit better. I very definitely recommend that. I also read a book recently called White Rage, which I'll leave below, and that was really great kind of info on African Americans and their uh, civil injustices, like how they were fighting so long for their rights and kind of the white privilege that has stopped them from progressing into equality. So it was a really very informative book. Uh, went into a lot of things I didn't know from just general education in school, so I definitely recommend that one. And yeah, just let me know if you have any other nonfiction recommendations. I'm kind of on a mini kick with that right now, so I definitely appreciate that. So the next book I'm reading is off of the summer reading list for my county. I'm a youth services librarian at my library, so I've been trying hard to read the summer reading list in case anybody comes in with questions uh, more towards like readers advisory if they're not sure what they want to read. So hopefully uh, I can help them with that. I am reading the, through the list rather slowly since there's a lot of books on the list, but I read a good portion of them, probably like half the list right now, so that's pretty good. But besides that, the book I am reading right now for the summer reading list is The House of the Scorpion. And this book is really interesting. It is written from the point of view of Matt, who is a clone. And it starts when he's, I think, like five or six, and then it's supposed to go through his teenage years, I believe. Right now, I think he is around 10 or 11, so I'm really interested to see what happens uh, the rest of the way through the book. I'm probably about 100 pages in, and it's been very easy reading, kind of a, not an addictive in the sense that like I'm rushing to find out what happens, but it's been pretty easy reading compared to some of the other books I had to read for summer reading, and it has a very interesting premise. It's set in Mexico, and Matt is a clone of the head of a family. I think he's like a grandfather or like a great-grandfather, and he is kind of like... It's not overtly said yet, but it, I think he's kind of almost like a drug lord because they have like opium fields and everyone fears him and they kind of don't leave the farm city house area where the, and I, I don't want to say a compound, but they have like the opium fields and there's like a big manor house, so they don't leave that. There's a lot of like sci-fi elements to it, such as like the cloning and certain people are like have like a chip in them and certain animals have like chips in them almost or they're like rewired so that they like only obey certain commands and certain clones don't usually like it's so rare that a clone lives fully usually they like either um, die or kind of turn brain dead or something so Matt is kind of very unique not only because he's the clone of the head of the drug lord but also because he's a surviving clone so it's just been very interesting because Matt is just a typical boy who has typical feelings and thoughts and he doesn't even, like he sort of doesn't understand what a clone is but now he's starting to and it's been just really interesting to read that and I'm interested to see what happens because a lot of the drug lord's family just use him as subhuman, not something that they respect at all. And from the back of the book, it sounds like that they are going to be a little bit more of a threat to Matt as he gets older. So I will let you know how I think of it once it's done. It's been very kind of intriguing. And yeah, let me know if you've read this. I believe there's a sequel. There's a picture of another book on the back. I'm not sure if it's like a full long series or if it's just the companion novel on the back. But yeah, let me know if you've read this one and your thoughts. So the last book that I am currently reading is actually a book club book that was supposed to be finished before today. So I am so far behind on this. I've been kind of really letting down my book club that I joined earlier this year through a bookstagram friend. I will leave the information for the book club below if you want to join us. But I've just been very busy. I've had a lot of stuff going on in my life besides finishing grad school and working at my new job. Uh, there's been some personal things I've been struggling through, so I haven't really been keeping up to date with the book club. When I first joined, we were reading Fangirl, so I, I knocked that one out of the park rather late, but still got it done. But the last book was The Knife of Never Letting Go, which I did not get to 
And this month's book is Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman, which I really, really, really want to read. And I am going to try to read through this this weekend and just be a few days late into July. Hopefully I get it done. And I'm so sorry to my book club members and to my friends. I'm, I'm struggling to find time and I will get to us, I promise, and hopefully be a better book club member because I know I've been just failing awfully. And yes, so this is Neil Gaiman's first book and it is set in London and it follows Richard who finds a girl bleeding and he kind of gets entrapped into the underworld of London that has a lot of different things he wasn't aware of. They call it Neverwhere and he goes and kind of connects with the girl who he meets down there. I think they said her name was Dor and she um and he kind of just explores this new place and finds out about all these different things that aren't real uh, so the premise sounds so intriguing and i'm very 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 much want to hopefully finish this in a few days i haven't i only started like a few pages of it so i'm not even that far into it so hopefully i get it done for book club and yeah that was everything that I'm currently reading this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if it's a feature you'd like to see recurring here on the channel. I know that this channel is more towards my other blog, more so than my book blog, but I will probably be talking about books here a lot among other things, just like life updates, life hacks, that kind of thing. But I do want to get back into YouTube and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to talk with you guys soon. Thanks for watching.